not finished yet because we have another guest here who is also in the music business or related to the music business and acting and characters, et cetera, et cetera. Mr. Alan Richards. Thank you for Hi, Alan. Me. Hi, it's Kathy. great to have you here. We've worked together, haven't we? We have. We've done a lot of stuff through the years. Yes, we call it Santa work. and Mrs. Claus. Santa and Mrs. Claus, which is at the, our photo was at yeah. the beginning, at the opening. Is that Among fun? other characters. So plan ahead, everybody. Christmas will be coming, and Alan and I are available. I'm Mrs. Claus, and he's Santa, and we have an act, and we do, and I can play and sing, and you can play and sing. We, we have, have a, a lot fun of fun. time. Then what about the Christmas tree? Don't forget that. I'm a Christmas tree. You are tree. a terrific Christmas tree. You're the Thank best. Thank you so much much and you're a great elf so we have well, to remember that too that's among the many <laughs> many characters that i have in tell the, me about that but tell me first about your career how it started well it began similar to bill's and that is in the family my dad had a band for 65 years there was music in the house in the 50s the 40s and 60s uh in detroit all the big acts at the time bob hope bing crosby uh, pat boone dinah shaw used to come to the house and the Fenby Car Orchestra, my dad's band, would accompany them. And they would rewrite the charts for all the... So we got to know a lot of people, and it's kind of a DNA thing. It definitely is. Yeah. Those are big stars yeah. that you were able to meet when you were just... Remember you know, George Goble? Of course I remember George, yeah. Uh, a lot of, lot of people. But we won't oh, talk so about wonderful. them so much, will we? No, let's talk about you now. Yeah. And you got started in the business by first singing as a singer. My dad had the band, but he was also a music teacher. And I went to the high school where he taught. Mm -hmm. So he, he needed tenors. And I became a first tenor and the, the glee club and the boys glee club and the music program at cooley high mm -hmm. school in detroit all right uh, which and fast forward a little bit yeah, to yeah, your yeah. cd you i yeah. understand you brought a cd with you i Tell did me now about this, that. this cd has a number of cuts on it the one we're going to listen to part of is called bachelor blues oh no when two guys Bachelors. get together and they have trouble because sometimes they run into the other girlfriends you know on the street <laughs> oh, so no. this was done for a tv show <laughs> Called really? Real People. Oh, a reality uh, show, obviously. Well, no? before the current reality okay. show genre. Well, let's hear that song. Well, I want to hear you. Play, I want to yeah. hear your early okay. days. Here we go. And a bachelor. When you please. come to the edge of reality, where the cosmic forces join, a bachelor's life isn't all roses. There's two sides to every coin. Get it! Well, isn't this fine here at Elon with all the real people here in town? I could be doing better. What? You're not happy. Why, man, the place is snappy, but your face is hanging down to the ground. Well, Phil, I got a problem Standing in my shoes Got to stretch out down in a bachelor blues Mary's not at home Brenda's on the phone The line's been busy for a week Something going on there I went out with Candy Ran right into Sandy No, neither one will even speak That's awful awesome. Yes yeah, Daisy's my sensation, but now she's on vacation. Got the stretched out, down and out, bachelor blues. What became of Margaret? She found another target. Mm, man, that's a shame. What happened to your charm? Well, it's been a false alarm. Maybe we don't know how to play this game. What happened to Viola? She moved to Pensacola. Man, that's a shame, cause she was hot. What happened to that redhead? She turned into a deadhead. I tried to have some fun, but she would not. What became a Susie? If Susie was a floozy. Got the stretched out, down and out, bachelor blues. That is Great. Thank you that very much. That is so much fun. Who else was on that CD with you? Well, there was a fellow by the name of Phil York, who was a producer for a bunch of great Canadian rock acts, who came down to Dallas, uh, mm -hmm. and, and a little town outside of Dallas called Grapevine, Texas. That's where we recorded yeah. that. He and I wrote that tune, and we're singing back and forth. That's great. Whatever happened to Phil? 
Phil is still around. He's back in Dallas. He's producing uh, music for uh, local bands and also for other acts that come into the area. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Let's, you and I should do it. Yeah. <laughs> Dallas, the three Texas. of us should do it. Three of us. Three of Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Well, well, I was just, you know, I was thinking of Branson, Missouri. I just got back, you know, from Branson about yeah. two months ago, and this kind of reminds me of that type of music. Right. I mean, I did hear a lot of country in Branson and all that, yeah. but that's a great tune, and I love the lyrics. Did you write Thank it? You, you wrote, wrote it with it, him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is so fantastic. Tell us now, you know, Alan, you are so clever. You come up with all these characters. I was looking at your you speak website. The truth, Kathy. And it is so true. I mean, your shows website you. is showstoyou.com. Yes. If you go on that website, everybody out there in TV land, you will be overwhelmed with all the characters Alan has. And it's, it's really amazing. You are an actor, I know. Mm -hmm. And I would love to see a sample of what you did. Wait, before we do the... Uh -huh. All the characters. All right. I'd like to know a little more about the acting career. You that did something else. That started with uh, my first uh, uh, equity show was Little Mary Sunshine, the show that you were in. Yes. Music. You and I weren't together at No, that we time. weren't. I was Nancy Twinkle. But, but. Uh, I didn't play Mil Little Mary, but I played in that <laughs> show. <laughs> I had 60 oh, no. performances, and I got the equity card with that. I was uh, back at the Vanguard Theater. Also in Detroit, and that led to lots of other th theatrical things. And do you have something on a DVD to show us? Uh, I do. Now, the DVD that you're going to see is from a, a movie called Plastic Profit. Oh, no. And uh, I, I spent 30 some odd years in the corporate flunky world, uh, but I always performed, you know. And, and this was a, a movie that was based on a, an advertising executive, which is what I was. And uh, the plastic nature of our society is focused on in a kind of a satirical way. So here's the beginning Great. of Plastic Profit. All right. The actor, Alan Richards, in Plastic Profit. I love the word plastic, by the way. But Meet William Wilson, father, 43 years of age. William occupies himself as a well-respected executive at a successful advertising agency in a nearby metropolitan center. It is Friday, and Mr. Wilson is returning to his humble home for a pleasant weekend. Yeah? Okay, honey. What's that? All right. All right, that's fine. Sarah and I will be just fine. Don't worry about a thing. No, I don't need a babysitter. You're coming home when? Sunday night? That's perfect. We'll have dinner waiting and ready. You take care. All right. Go make some money, honey. Oh, go make some money, honey. <laughs> that was on your mind in that. <laughs> That's yes, so was, true. Yes. That's all about advertising. Make money, oh, yeah. honey. Yep. Well, listen, not only making money with you know, in the advertising world, but you went on and you have come up with all these di for different characters, for parties, for everybody, all age groups. Tell us about, you brought some well, hats I, with I these. I do a couple hundred gigs a year, and one of the most popular characters through the years has been Mr. Debonair. And of course, Mr. Debonair has to wear a top hat and a cane, and I love this character. And it's a little bit like uh, Gene Kelly, and so that's that. And another ha uh, character that I love to do during the October month is the seasonal character of the Alphorn player. I have a lot of hot air, oh, oh, yes. and it takes a lot of hot air to blow the Alphorn, 14 feet long. And, they, okay. and that's a picture on your website. And that's You've a got picture it. on the that's on fantastic. the website. And of course, I love the children's characters, and this oh, is the Dr. The in the hat. Oh, and um, the, one of the latest characters is the wizard. Oh. Only good fortunes are told. Yes, you can do that. Yes, oh and then as you, you remember, of course, we yes. do a lot of Sinatra stuff still today. Fly me to the moon and let me, me sing among the stars. stars. Uh, let me, me see what spring is, is like on Jupiter and, and Mars. Mars. It's enough of that. Enough of that. And then another one that we do together, one of the two benefits oh, that I do I every year. It. God You're a grand old flag. You're a high flying flag, flag. And forever, forever in peace may you wave. And by the way, just so you don't get too confused out there, that is a benefit we've done three years now. I think I've yep. directed a benefit called God Bless the USA at the Herbst Theater. 
That's oh, right. now this character. Now, the reason I'm wearing this <laughs> funeral director outfit today no. is that yesterday, <laughs> my brother and I, who's also a horn player in LA, he and I play the ram's horns. Now, uh -oh. This is one of two ram's horns, or shofar, shofarot. Tell us about the shofar, though. Isn't that an instrument that is a traditional part of the Jewish religion? It is, but it is also the Old Testament. comes from Africa from Nigeria. This one, along with the one that Stuart plays, comes from a, a, a ram. This is one of two. Horn. From Yeah, they're horns. They're real ram's horns. It takes horns. a lot of hot air to blow the ram's no horns. No kidding. So we want to show it. So the African-American churches in LA and in San Francisco and all over are finding, we, want, we got, have to have you come out and blast. Really? Do a fanfare. I love it. Inaugurate a new bishop. I'm serious. No, I don't so think they love it. Now here's how it sounds. We're going to blast the uh, audio on this one. That's, That's fantastic. That. They heard you all the way to Bakersfield. I they hope know not. they did. <laughs> that is amazing the sound of that ram's horn. It is it's really great, Alan. All the characters that you do are terrific. You'll find more on shows to you com. On shows to you com for all the parties. And you know, Mr. Debonair, I think I've even suggested you know, you worked as Mr. Debonair on, on an event for me. I did. It's yeah. charming because it doesn't matter what age you are. You know, it it's so wonderful that we can keep doing all the things that we love, music and acting. Yes. Now, what is coming up for you, by the way? Well, the big thing this year for, uh, for the balance of 2012 and into 2013 is the production of a, a second CD of jazz stuff that my brother and I have written. He's oh, written wonderful. hundreds of tunes and we've selected 16 songs. Great. And uh, this is really wonderful original material. Originals? Yeah. yeah. This is going to be wonderful. And no covers. <laughs> no covers, but all originals? Yeah. Oh, you're so, it's it, great. It, it is so great to be writing, you know, to be Very able important. to write. And so, the other thing, of course, is the weddings. This is the season of the weddings. And um, what else? This is what I wanted to get into and let the audience know. You are a wedding officiant. Isn't that correct? I also call myself a celebrant because the wedding should be, and in most cases is, the happiest day. And, of yes. a lifetime celebration of a couple's uh, marriage. And I love to write and, and perform and rehearse uh, with couples for weddings. So I, every year I do about 40 weddings and uh, I'm booked fantastic. through actually almost every weekend through November. I looked at and, your schedule, I was yeah. amazed. That's I have how fun. many marriages, and that's how many people hire an officiant. Yes. Because I'm always thinking, you know, it's the priest, and or it's the rabbi. Well, they're non-denominational weddings, and yes. most of them come through an agency that we have called Sealed with a Kiss. Kiss. Two non -denominational, kisses. Two kisses. I know, I saw that, that's great. Do you know that I could be an officiant? You are. I do You're have You're celebrating my life card. all the time. Yes, but I have my card, the Universal yes. Church. Yes. So I could be an officiant too, and I just wanted, you know, and I should let everybody know that because we all need work, don't we? Yes. Bill, have you ever thought about becoming an officiant? Well, you perform ceremonies all the time, don't you? Well, not, not wedding ceremonies anyway. Not wedding ceremonies. But you could what officiate kind? at a wedding. Not, well, I could, I could wing it. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course, it, really it does. Really judge, though. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, or well, you know says what? A judge. It takes a lot of time to prepare the writing well, because you meet the couple first yes. and then you talk to them and find out what they want. And Isn't we have a little right? questionnaire and then, uh, you know, we, uh, we go back and forth, email back and forth. So that come the day of the ceremony, yes. the couple knows exactly what I'm going to say. There are no surprises, unlike a church wedding. There sometime. we go. Yes. And you also have uh, been an officiant at a very, uh, what, celeb uh, celebratory, celeb celebrities. Well, I was searching uh, for that word. You know, we all do fancy schmancy weddings. I mean, I've done w weddings with just a couple on the ocean, you know, and that's it. And the photographer and my partner become the witnesses. Yes. But I think you're talking about the, the quarterback of the 49ers. Yes, that's the what I mean. Alex what Smith, his, Alex and Elizabeth, Alex they're wonderful people. And, and, and you, delightful. you happen to yeah. be an efficient at their wedding. Well, they hired us. So it was great. So between you two, we have a lot of celebrities. And, and actually, I should include myself in that. We've you all are. met them. You know, we've met celebrities. You know, you've worked with Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. met all these wonderful stars when you were growing up. And I had, was lucky enough to live in L.A. when I met Peggy Lee and I met... Um, 
other celebrities